All right, you guys. Well, thanks so much for joining us tonight. My name is Jamie Swanson, and I am an advanced director in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I have been with Pampered Chef for 18 years. I just celebrated my 18th anniversary back in May, and it's been such an amazing journey. Um, I started just two years after I graduated from college, had no no plans to do this more than just, um, just to get a few more things in my kitchen. Wanted to add um, the, the food chopper. That was the reason I started, but had no plans to stay more than about six um, after about six parties. And um, it's just been amazing how, what a blessing this, this business has been for me. Um, it's, I've done it um, very much as a hobby. i um, done it with a full-time job. I have done it with, um, um, you know, through pregnancies, I have, you know, now this has been my full-time job as long as I've had kids. So our boys are 12, seven, and two. So if you're like me and not good at math, that is five years on both sides. So to say that our life is a little bit chaotic and crazy would be an understatement, but, um, but we truly have a blast, um, with, with all that we do with, with our family and stuff. So, um, so it's been re really neat. So the majority of my career, um, I have been a cooking show consultant. So, which, you know, which means I've just gone into people's homes and cooked. Um, so this virtual um, aspect um, is newer, you know, the last couple of years. And I really um, was trying to figure out a way that I could fall in love with it. And I knew that if I could bring my talents and my love of the, the demos and being able to talk and share, that I really would fall in love with it. So um, I started doing Zoom um, you know, classes or you know, basically cooking, I'm cooking class. do some training for our team, and then also um, show um, those customers that I chose to join us, um, just be able to show them some, you know, um, power tools and some things that will really make everyday cooking a whole lot easier. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Um, so, so anyway, I'm not really going to make a recipe tonight. I'm just going to be showing you some things um, that are just going to make your life a little bit easier. So what I'll do is we're going to, I'm, I'm going to start and show you truly some of my most favorite things, things I use in my kitchen. Some of them are daily. Some of them are multiple times daily and everything else is probably at least once, um, once or twice a week um, with very few exceptions. Um, and then what we'll do towards the second half is I want to open up the lines for you guys to ask any questions about products that you want to know about. Okay. And then, um, so for those of you that are customers and are here to kind of check things out um, at the end, we're going to do two different drawings. Okay. And so I'll tell you how to get in on those drawings. So, um, but I will be directing you back to your consultant to shop. So this is by no means me trying to find new customers or anything. This is like a, a sharing opportunity for, um, for that. So if you, you are connected with a consultant, make sure you have their link if you're ready to, um, if you're ready to shop. Okay. All right. So um, I am, I'm just going to go ahead and pull a couple of things out. So I'll go back to that food chopper. Um, so this is definitely one of my most favorite things. Um, and this is the reason that I'm standing here talking to you guys um, about Pampered Chef tonight, because this was the, the product that was the straw that broke the camel's back and finally wore me down and got me to try the business. It was in the new consultant kit back in 2002. The kit was $99. And I said, you know, like even at 24, I go to Target and spend a hundred dollars on and, and really come home with, with not a whole, whole lot. So this is, this like is symbolism to me, like the, just how amazing this food chopper is. So just by show of hands, who has a food chopper? Love it, love it, love it, love it. So um, love that the blades rotate so you don't have to move the food or move the chopper. Now, this is an important thing that I love to share because people typically use the chopper the way they saw the consultant use at the party that they, um, that they end up getting it at. So just know that if you had, let's just say you had amount of nuts or you know even celery whatever it is you need to chop you can chop it in the cap here so a lot of folks don't realize that you've got the versatility to do that top rack dishwasher safe i love it let's just say that i did some pecans a lot of folks don't realize that you can take um, this little cap out and just shake it um, like that so absolutely fantastic 
um, still one of my most favorite and most used things. Did I mention that I have three little boys? So it is also a fabulous stress reliever. So whether you've got kids, don't have kids, stressful job, husband that leaves his underwear all over the place, whatever your situation is, it is I'm definitely a good aggression taker outer. Okay. Um, so imagine a couple of years ago, um, I don't know, this has probably been out for about 10 years or so, the manual food processor, processor came out and I was like, whoa, 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 we don't need anything like that. We've got this. So you can imagine my excitement when um, I actually got this out and started using it. Um, I truly, truly fell in love with it. So what I love about the manual food processor is you can do a lot of the same stuff that you would do with the food chopper, okay? Like everything that you would want to do in here, you can do in the manual food processor. Um, the biggest advantage is this is a three cup capacity. So I made salsa the other day for one of my parties. And um, if I were going to do the salsa, I would have to chop the jalapeno, then chop the, the tomatoes, then chop the, um, you know, the cilantro. Everything would kind of be individual chopping. Or just imagine a, a, like a, just a good size onion. It would probably take about four different transitions um, to chop the whole thing. Whereas with the three cup capacity, you can do so much at once. So this is great, especially for things like um, if you're making pesto or you're doing um, salsa, chicken salad, anything like I told you, I told you you'd hear them. I knew, I knew it would only be a matter of time, but this is real life. You guys, you can totally do this around your family schedule. So love that. Um, so I really love that it will, will mix and chop all at the same time or mix and um, chop. So the three little blades are offset. So it will, it will get a good, um, good little blend in there. So what you do here is you put the food down in there. Try to avoid um, getting any of the food or even like oils down in the, um, the top of the blade um, because you're going to want um, the, the lid to, um, to just connect there. So this just has a little lever and then you're just going to push down, down, down. Now the tip with the tip that I love to give people with that is don't, don't, don't do those little, little sissy pumps. You've got to like really just get again, take some good aggression out on that. So truly, truly love that. Now, how many of you have the manual food processor? Anybody? Okay, good. And pop in the chat some of the things that you're, you're using with your manual food processor. I'd love to, love to hear. Um, I'll try to um, share one of my favorite summertime recipes um, in the group um, a little bit later, but the appleberry salsa is to die for. We love that. And it's so fresh and um, strawberries, kiwi, um, and then um, you know, strawberries, kiwi, and apple, and then you juice an orange, and that's it. So you can serve it in a multiple, um, just a multiple ways um, with that. All right, so I am, this is probably in my top three um, of the things that I use like every day, all the time um, for prep. And this is called the quick slice. Um, how many, oh, let's see what we've got. All right, so salsa, guacamole, smoothies, if you don't need to use ice. Okay, perfect. Um, those are super ideas for this. Uh, one of my, one of the things that I, I really love about this um, that I do often is if we're making meatloaf, I'll take either my bread that I've toasted that's real cr um, crunchy or crackers. And so I'll do that to make the breadcrumbs. And then I'll do my peppers and onions. So that's one thing that I'm going to have to clean um, prior to, um, to, you know, like, you know, our, our dishes, you know, being done. So it's, it's just nice that the one stop chopping is the way that I refer to it. So, um, all right, quick slice. You guys, I love this thing. So this was based on, I feel like these are like, this was our, our first model. And then, you know, this was kind of like the, the upgrade. Um, so the egg slicer, a lot of people love our egg slicer. You can slice strawberries, you can slice kiwi, you can slice bananas, all sorts of things like that, that are, that are nice and um, just, just a soft, um, a soft food. So when this came out, I was like, man, they have not get out of the park with this. So this is called the quick slice. What I think is fantastic about this is you can do all of the things that I mentioned, like strawberries, kiwi, banana, um, mushrooms, but so much more. So not only can you do more things, you can do more at one time. So I'll show you, I'm here with the cucumber, what I could do. So you can actually do, I'll, I'll grab that. You can slice tomatoes, you can do cucumbers, zucchini. Now things like potatoes and onions are a little bit firmer than what you're gonna wanna do with the quick slice, but Truly, truly love this. So let me pull out, we'll talk about these peelers in just a second. I need a little bit of that, a little bit of that on. All right, and then I'll just pop a little bit of that. 
All right, so with this cucumber, um, all I'd have to do is just lay it down, um, and then you just wanna get like a rock in motion back and forth, okay? So now I've got perfectly sliced cucumbers, so that would be perfect for a veggie tray. You could put it um, on a salad, um, all sorts of things. Um, one of the things that I try to do to, to make myself eat healthier is if I can prep some veggies and fruit and things like that at the beginning of the week, especially on Sundays or whatever day you've got just that little pocket of time that you could do that. I tell you, this gets used over and over and over. So let's just say that I wanted my cucumber to be a little bit smaller so I could put it back down. Now, the blade does not move. It's only in one direction. But what you would do is put the... Um, put the cucumbers right back on there, and then just wiggle it back and forth. And then look, you've got these nice little little slices. But wait, there's more. So if I wanted to do it again to keep it, um, but I'm just gonna pop it right back down. And then look at that, you guys. We have cucumber confetti. How fun is that? <laughs> so um, just depending on what we're, what we're planning to do with it. Um, another thing that you can do with that, I love, um, is you can do it in a different direction. So if we wanted to have like longer pieces of cucumbers, I would just stand it up and then um, I've got the, the slices like that. So super, super cool. Let me go grab the tomato because I think you got to see it to believe it. Wash it here. All right, and the way that the tomato works so beautifully um, is because those blades are at an angle and they're serrated. So I'm just gonna go kind of back and forth. And then it's got cucumbers all over it, but look at that awesome tomato, quick and easy. Best part, top rack dishwasher safe, you guys. So if you don't have one, get two. <laughs> so I, I, I really do have two. I use them all the time. There's one, all, one is always in the dishwasher, and um, and then you're just just always always using it for something. Okay, all right. So let's take a break and we'll scoot over to. Um, one of the things that makes dinner so much easier at our house, and I'm going to show you a handful of our power tools back here, um, but I'll start with this because this is just a super functional, um, lots and lots of uses, and um, just, just something that, like, especially right now, I live in Wilmington, North Carolina, and it is hot here. It is super humid and muggy, and it's just hot. It's just hot. So the last thing I want to do is crank up my stovetop crank up the oven. Um, so I'm looking for like the coolest way to cook um, possible. So this is our rock crock Dutch oven. All right, raise your hand if you've got a rock crock, you know, no matter what size it is. Rock crock. Okay, great. So let me tell you a little bit about the rock crock. Now that is one of the things that we were having some supply issues. You know why? Because it's super popular. Everybody wants to get their hands on the rock crock. So it's um, a ceramic piece of cookware that is so, so versatile. So it goes in the microwave, it goes on the stovetop, and it will work on your gas um, stovetops, a coil, or the glass flat top. It, the, it will not work on an induction stovetop because you need that magnetic field um, to, for, for that. So really love that. Now, you want to make sure it's got like little feet here. You want to make sure that those feet or what's gonna sit on um, your your um, your range. Now we've got a gas stove, so it really, that's you know, usually not a problem, but where you will run into problems, is, especially if you have a coil. The coil, you wanna make sure that it's touching those little feet right there and not um, touching that because it's just gonna be too, too hot um, for, for that. So again, microwave, um, stove top, it goes in the oven. You can actually um, put it under the broiler. Um, so that's really nice because a lot of times you'll need to crisp up whatever you're doing, maybe a squash casserole or um, you know some kind of lasagna that you want to be a little bit crispier. Um, it, it goes outside on the grill. So for those of us that you know end up losing power at different times during the year because of you know storms or um, even ice storms, whatever you've got going on where you live, um, this this is great because you've got the um, the versatility of that. We also have a slow cooker base that is fantastic. So it turns the rock crock into a crock pot basically. And I think what's really incredible about that is if you're searing your meat. So let's just say that you're doing a, a roast, like a, a roast and you wanna do carrots, potatoes and onions, but you want to sear the meat first. You're not stuck with dra dragging out your big skillet and then having to transfer it over to the crock pot. You just put your meat in here, season it the way you want, sear it on all the sides, um, add your veggies and then drop it into that slow cooker base. So that is fantastic. So the slow cooker, um, base um, has a low, a high, and then a warm. So if you're going to be gone all day, 
warm is really all you need, especially if you're going to be going more than like like eight hours. I think you could you could get away with doing the warm. And we do a lot of fondue. I love to do wine, cheese, and chocolate parties, and I'm um, different different things like that. <laughs> Um, different things like that. Um, so with the warm um, on the, the rock rock um, slow cooker base, um, you can, your fondues are not going to get cold um, when you're doing that or, or, you know, like when you go to a, a party and somebody's got the buffalo chicken dip and you're like, well, that looked good, except the cheese is like cement now and I can't, I can't get to the good stuff. So no problem with with that. So rock rock Dutch oven, favorite at my house. This one is the four quart size. And if you're, you're beating more than just a couple of people, um, that would definitely um, be my suggestion, okay? All right, so let's talk about some of the Pamper Chef classics that um, are definitely a favorite. Um, so I'll talk, a, let me start with this one. You'll, you'll see. Now this is one of three bar pans, so you think it's pretty and seasoned. Um, you should see the other two. I've got those back there if, if you need to see them. Um, but this is the large bar pan. Where are my stoneware lovers? Anybody else stoneware lovers? Man, I, I tell you, this and this and the classic batter bowl were the first two things that I added to my kitchen at the very first party um, that I went to. And this is this is a fun fact. Um, I hosted a pampered chef cooking show when I was in college. I think I was 20 years old. So, um, you know, so don't think you're ever too young to to host um host a party. So, this is the large bar pan. And it gets tons of use at my house. Anything that's going in, whether it's two boxes of brownies, maybe some french fries, doing um, um, like roasted vegetables. Um, we do we do barbecue chicken, all sorts of things on here. It gets a lot of bacon too because we'll do, you know having you know a family of five, we'll go through a pound of bacon with like without even you know before we even sit down to, for for breakfast or you know done supper for dinner or um, breakfast for dinner. So really love that it's got the little lip here and um, you can do all sorts of things. Now, if you are new to stoneware, let me give you a little bit of stoneware um, tips and tricks. Um, so you want to make sure that you can tell the difference. This one I use a lot, but obviously not as, not as much as I've used that one. Um, so this is the large round stone um, with the handles, but it's the, the white one. So it has a little bit of a lip. Um, so the more you use it, the more seasoned it becomes. So um, it comes with a little brown scraper. And so let's talk a little bit about the use and care of that. So you wanna make sure that you're not using soap on your stoneware. You treat it like cast iron because Dawn takes grease out of your way. And we don't wanna strip out all that hard work we've put into it, okay? So I have say a hot, um, you know, just um, hot water and a, a dish cloth or even that little scraper will do a fantastic job getting the stuff off. Now, the, the you know, the grease and the, the buildup. Now, of course, when I do bacon on there, I'm going to need a little bit more than that scraper to, to get it, um, get it done. Now, make sure you don't stick it in the dishwasher. If you're one of those people that's going to stick it in the dishwasher, no matter what, just know that you voided the warranty for that, but just a, um, a great little tip. The other thing that, um, that I think a lot of folks are not familiar with, if they, you just haven't had a lot of stoneware, um, you know, you know, in, in services or information is um, you want to be very careful. Um, okay, I'll come back to that, Mindy. That's a great question. You want to be very careful not to go from one extreme temperature to the other. So I would not put this in the refrigerator and then immediately slide it into the um, into the oven because that's called thermal shock. So going from one extra, one temperature to another um, would, would definitely crack that. Um, same thing with coming out of the oven, I would never stick it in like a, you know, run in water um, under it because um, that, you know, that would definitely um, cause some issues. The other thing, this is a more common thing that I'm beginning to see with, with folks, you wanna make sure that at least two thirds of your stone is covered um, with with some type of food. So um, if I were doing like chicken breast, and I only had three chicken breasts um, for this, this would be way too big of a stone um, for for that um, that meal. Now, if I were going to do the three chicken breasts and want to throw some veggies around it, you're in good shape. But you just want to make sure that you don't have um, just just smaller portions um, of food because that that tends to um, you know just you know you have the the hot spots that will basically happen there. Now the uh, the beautiful thing Thing about stoneware is you get an even distribution of heat so if you've ever cooked french fries on your stone you don't have to flip them um, before um, you know it's just nice you don't have to do that and the way that works is think about your crinkle cut french fries like a you know crispy you know crinkle cut frozen french fry if you're putting it in the oven um, in like on a sheet pan 
that water really has nowhere to go. It just kind of stays there. So that's why you're going to want to flip it over. Whereas it, the, the stoneware is a non-porous material that um, helps circulate um, the just the, the cooking a little more evenly. So that is why and that's you know why you're going to get a just an even cook in there. So, all right. So let's talk about another fun um, tool that I use a lot. I see I see little boys little boys coming through. It's fun. <laughs> You want to say hello? These are some of my favorite things too. Can you say hello? hello. Say hi, friends. Yeah. Tell them what your name is. I'm Fisher. You're Fisher. And what is mommy doing here? Um, that. What is that? You want a tomato? Yeah. Oh, what is this then? What are these things? Yeah. Huh? Ew. <laughs> um, what, what is this? It's like stink. It's like stink. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll put it back over here. Yeah. Hey, what are these products? It's grapes. Oh, those are grapes. But what are these things that we're looking at here? Um, um, this. What do you like to do with that? This. This is what? That. Um, what does that say? In there. In there. There's nothing in there. All right, go have fun. Go find some boys to play with. Again, told you, real life. <laughs> so, all right, usually he says, Pimp a chef. Pimp a chef. He just thinks it's so cute. All right, so. All right, we're going to use um, the um, the close and cut to slice um, some um, grapes here, which are fantastic. Love, love, love um, um, this product. But before we jump into that product, let me tell you um, how cool this is. So this is the Easy Read Measuring Colander. Um, absolutely love it. It's a three cup capacity. It's at an angle. Um, you've got a little divider here, the little um, hook here. So if you've got a divider sink, um, you can stick it there. So um, perfect for like black beans or some type of bean that needs to be rinsed. Um, you can um, you can do that. Um, blueberries, strawberries, and I love that it's got the measure marks in there. Or, so you've got you know if you needed two cups of blueberries for a trifle or something, you wouldn't have to wash them, um, rinse them, you know. Dr drain them in a colander and then get a measuring cup or something um, to put in there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them here in um, the um, closing cut. So this is incredibly cool. <laughs> the measuring colander, yes, Kelly, you girl, you need one of those. You definitely need one of those. So with the, um, the closing cut, it's got these two little, um, little plates basically and they've got um, springs behind it. So what you'll do is you'll put whatever food you're gonna you want to slice evenly. So I'm gonna do the grapes here today. Cherry tomatoes are perfect. Um, what I use it for a ton are pork chops and chicken breasts. So imagine if you go to Costco or you know Sam's or even our local Harris Teeter has a great deal on chicken I'm in the butcher in the butcher area, but they're super super big chicken breasts. So um, they they don't necessarily cook evenly. The the top is really big and the bottom is smaller. So well, we just like to cut through them to make them thinner. So you I don't know if you guys know this, but you pay more per pound when you buy a thinner cut um, of meat. Did you guys know that? So you're paying more per pound for less meat. So um, so I like to just get the thicker stuff, especially if you can find it on sale. Cut through it. So when I get my um, when I get my, um, you know, meat, a lot of times I'll um, pick up stuff at Sam's and um, before I put it in the freezer, I just slice right through it. So now at Sam's, you get a package of pork chops. You get six thin uh, or thick pork chops. I cut through them. So we went from six to 12. So our budget stretched and then our portions are more appropriate. Um, so I love, love that. So this will save you a lot of money um, over time. So is, if you've got a good seven inch sharp knife, you're, you're probably fine just to get the closing cut. Um, or you can get the set that has this blue, um, blue um, color coded knife. So the trick that I like to share with people is instead of squishing it down and trying to figure out where to start, go ahead and place your knife down and then I'm just going to give it a, um, a cut through. So now I've got sliced tomatoes and I didn't have to do those one by one, or excuse me, those are not tomatoes, those are grapes. Um, I didn't have to do those one by one and then, um, you know, and then I didn't have to get creative and use two plates or anything like that. So and that cute little fisher that you guys just saw hopefully we'll go to preschool in the fall and um, i know a lot of preschools don't allow you to send in full-size grapes and things like that because it's a choking hazard so we love this um definitely a um, a great time saver and um just just something that that we use a time all right so let's get over and um, start talking about some of our power tools so i'll pull this up so you guys can check it out all right 
So this is our deluxe cooking blender. Um, now this is a true story. I'm sitting in Chicago a couple of years ago. I am totally hoping Pamper Chef is going to come out with an air fryer. It was before our time and they, they had not come out with it. And, um, but I'm still just hoping, 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 hoping um, to, um, to see, you know, the air fryer come out. And they said you know, we were coming out with a blender. And I'm going to tell you, my little, my sweet little Southern heart got real sad. It was real sad. I was like, I've got a blender. I don't need a blender. But as soon as I'm, and they sent me two because I'm, the, the, we just get to earn all kinds of things with me for Chuff. They sent two blenders and I quickly fell in love with it. And I could not believe how much I loved it. So um, it comes with an amazing cookbook full things that you can do um, do with it. Um, I did mention that it is a cooking blender. So the so we've got a tomato basil soup that's to die for, um, a um, butternut squash that is delicious, all sorts of soups that you can do. You can do a heated puree. So if you've got, um, you like to, to puree things or especially for baby food, um, that one's wonderful. You can make jam, three ingredients and you can make jam. Now I, I'm pretty domesticated, but I have never made jam, <laughs> never made jam before this came out. And I love to make jam. The really nice thing is I'm on a, like a no low sugar rule, really a no sugar um, diet. So I've got, um, I can make jam and you know, now I can eat it because, and I don't have to, to buy the stuff at the store. So I love that. And then the sauce one, I use the sauce, um, the sauce um, setting a lot. So that one is great for Alfredo. You can do um, sausage gravy. You can do, um, oh my goodness, there's a nacho cheese sauce that's delicious. And then of course over on the other side, you can do all things, all sorts of things like smoothies. You can make, I made it mango margaritas on Saturday night or, and Friday night too, but I mean, who's counting if we're going to talk about mango margaritas. Um, you can also do your alternative milks. Um, and probably what I use it for as much as smoothies, probably um, as much as, as anything. But the thing that I use it for the second most is we make peanut butter. So we make peanut butter all the time in here. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a, not promoting any store versus another, but I tell you, um, your local like um, Lidl or um, Aldi, you can get peanuts for like $1.89. So I just, when I go in there, I get like 10 containers at a time because we're constantly, constantly making peanut butter. Now, what I think is the most impressive is it does a heated wash. So I'll just put three cups of water in there, one drop of soap, and then um, it just push, push the heated wash and it will begin to wash. Now, I, I just think that's, that's fascinating. If it would hold my clothes, then I'd, I'd have three of them. So, um, but really, really love this. How, um, those of you that have it, what are some of your, put in the chat, what are some of your favorite things that you, you'd love to, to make with the blender? What kind of nuts for peanut butter? So I just do um, honey roasted peanuts when I'm doing it for my family. I do just the dry roasted um, to keep the sugar out for me, which is which is great. Um, it's not, you know, I'd like to have the honey roasted too, but um, but super super easy. Um, you can, but yeah, any any kind. But you can do um, almond butter. Um, you can you know make the almond milk. I mean all sorts of things. So if you are um, if you are you know trying to be healthier watch what's going on in your body this is a fantastic um fantastic way to to be cautious of that all right so should i go ahead and tell you about my new baby that i love love so much yeah i think i will all right so one of my past tastes is in here miss robin miss robin's super excited about getting her air fryer so all right so this is the, the this was the moment i'd all been waiting for all right so English muffin. Oh, hey, she's giving it to her puppy dog. Sorry, right, let me check the chat just to see if there's anything I need. Yeah, the tomato basil soup, fantastic. And I love soup year round. Um, let's see. All right, soup. Okay, me and Mindy asked if I use soup on the rock crock. Yes, you can use soup on the rock crock, and that baby is dishwasher safe. So, all right, I'll come back through here in just a few minutes and. Um, and talk about some other things. All right, how many of you had an air have an air fryer outside of Pamper Chess? They have one. Okay, so it was the thing that I like. I my birthday was in January. My husband's like, go get just go get one. I'm tired of hearing about it. <laughs> Thank goodness I waited. I waited just a little bit longer, and a couple of weeks later, um, Pamper Chef came out with one. So this took air fryer like to a whole new level, in my opinion. So um, ours is incredible. It um, does air fry. You can bake it. 
in it. So again, um, it doesn't put off nearly the amount of heat that your, um, like your oven will do. You can roast, um, which is awesome. It's got a rotisserie, so you can do a chicken, you can do a pork loin, you can do a cauliflower head, um, all sorts of things like that. Reheat, so it takes things like, um, like let's just say frozen popcorn shrimp or even you know, fried, you know, popcorn shrimp you've got um, at a restaurant, that stuff like that or hush puppies that you normally wouldn't want to bring home. It makes them almost as good as it was the, the minute you sat down with it. And then you can dehydrate on it too. So we do, I, like I air fry everything now. Like it, if, 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 if it gets in my way, it's probably going to go in the air fryer. One of the things that I love is that the, um, the door comes off for easy cleaning. So mine's been used about three times today. So I need a, a good, actually, I'm glad that I said that. Um, actually, don't think the, the black rack, um, the black little drip pan is dishwasher safe. So just pretend like you did not see that, okay? So, but these two little trays go right in there. And um, so even for my family of five, um, and when we cook, we cook for leftovers. So, um, so I usually cook in large batches. We, you know, it's, it's just the perfect size for our family. Um, but I love that that door comes off so I can um, do some easy cleaning when it is time. And um, you've, you've just got that. Now what will happen is let's just say the recipe calls for 10 minutes at um, the five minute mark, it will give you like a little ding or a little buzz. And then you'll want to flip, um, you know, flip the trays so you can, um, so you can just get um, the, the top and the bottom times. Now, this is such a small thing, you guys, um, but these little oven mitts, the little uh, micro grips, and then the mini oven mitts are fantastic. Now, I can only find one of these, and I'm going to let you guess why I can only find one of these. That little guy you just saw loves Baby Shark. So I bet it is in his bedroom, and he's been like doing puppet shows by himself. Um, and then these are adorable. Who knows? Who knows what's going on with that? Now, um, right now, our air fryer is um, such a popular item because it just came out on um, March 1st, and um, and then all the things happen with the world. Um, you, you know what I'm talking about. So, um, we really could not keep up with the supply that we needed. Um, to, um, to keep um, to keep that um, in everybody's household, um, so that is a the uh, only item in our catalog that is host only right now. So eventually, hopefully in the fall, we'll be back to everybody being able to buy one. But um, once the party hits six hundred and fifty dollars, you can get it at sixty percent off, and that's like a hundred and eleven dollars. So um, certainly a fantastic addition. Um, and would be well worth um, hosting a party um, to do that. This little cookbook is just jam-packed with amazing recipes because I just Google. I Google things all the time that I want to make in the air fryer. And basically my, my rule of thumb on Googling things, I'll just type in whatever, if I want to do pork chops and like barbecue pork chops, air fryer, I will just type that in and I'll look at the different options and then I just find one that has good ratings. So if it's got like five stars and it's been rated by a lot of people, I always go for it. So I think that is fantastic. So, all right, so love that the toaster stone. Yeah, we've got quite a few items that um, that do go, that are approved um, to go in the air fryer, which is awesome because, um, you know, why not use some of your favorite things like the toaster oven pan or even the, the new baby cast irons. Oh my gosh, if you guys have not seen the, the five and a half inch cast iron pans, they are so adorable. You will love them. Um, all right, so let's round out the power tools over here and talk a little bit about the quick cooker. Um, I was, I had no desire to add an instant pot to my kitchen. I was like, I've got Got that rock rock I don't I don't need anything to make me cook any faster but let me tell you I am so glad Pamper Chef came out with it again just like the blender um, I did not know what my what was missing in my life until um until that um, that was added to my kitchen so um I think Pamper Chef knocked it out of the park once again as they always do they they really do a lot of market research before coming out with different working for other you know other brands and stuff and really made some great improvements two of the things that i think are fantastic 
Um, the steam release is right here. So just imagine I would normally stand, um, stand at this point. So the steam release is gonna come out like right here. It's gonna go away from me. If I, if I were to cook over here, I would just turn the, the, um, the quick cooker a quarter turn um, so it didn't um, blow the steam onto the cabinets. The other thing, which I think is brilliant, is they put the handles here on the bottom. So that is just wonderful because a lot of other ones, the handle is here at the top. And you know what, that's where the heat and the swivel is at. So it, it, I think they just really did a super, super job. So this is a six quart capacity. So when I, when my family, when I cook um, for our family, I always cook for leftovers. So um, my friend Kim is, is watching here and we both sausage and peppers so that is one of our specialties we both make it all the time um, in our quick cooker and we're both doing keto so there you go it's um a, a definitely a, a keto a keto recipe that that we can enjoy um, but quick and easy you can sear in it you can steam in it you've got um the option for custom you can do um you know all sorts of things it's got pre-settings for chicken beef pork um your seafoods i do a lot of soups in the winter time in here absolutely love that um desserts there's several desserts cheesecakes there's um all kinds of accessories that we have with this too so really 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 love it now one of the features that i use a ton you guys is the delay feature is anybody that has the quick cooker that uses a delay feature ever all right so what that is let's just say like when when we had school and my kids weren't here all the time um i would around two o'clock before i went to pick up my middle one and the baby was still sleeping i would prep tonight's dinner because we're like a my husband plays basketball two nights a week I usually do two cooking shows a week and I've got two boys that are in sports pretty much year round so we're always yeah we're always on the go so two o'clock was like that sweet spot that sweet time that I could prep dinner our day and, and the, but I would delay it so let's just say that I was doing a race or something um I would never delay the, the meal for more than like an hour and a half or so um, because you just wouldn't want the, the temperature issue so you wouldn't want to like you know prep it at 7 30 in the morning delay it four or five hours and then you know for it to start cooking so it's more of a like a closer range um, but I would hit like four and a half delay um, over here and then um and then while we were doing homework or whatever the the food would start cooking so it was one less thing that i had to think about so that is fantastic and this also serves as a um a use it for multiple um, multiple things in your kitchen um, it's just like the blender and the uh, air fryer comes with a great little little cookbook um, full of things but I, I google as many things um, to cook in it as I um, you know as I use in the cookbook okay so I've got a couple of other things but I want to take some time and open up the the um, the, um, the lines here and um, allow you guys to ask any questions that you have. So I think what I'm gonna do is just have a seat and we're just gonna chat. So I would love for you guys to ask me any questions. Let's see if I can move that, there we go. And I can see what you guys have going on. All right, so feel free to um, unmute yourself. Uh-oh, you guys see me? all kinds of little pop-ups here um so feel free to unmute yourself and ask any question about products that i showed here or other ones that you want to know a little bit more about how's the best way to know a pineapple is ripe? oh good i've got one here i'm glad you asked <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna gonna say save that um after maybe we'll show that so there's a couple of ways that you can um, tell. So this one is a little more golden um, than green, but it you know, still got some, some good green to it. So ideally, probably in the next two days, this would be ready to go. Now, a lot of folks um, can smell it, and this is super, um, super sweet smelling. So I think this is probably ready to go um, anyway. It's funny. I, I'm, I did a I actually did a cooking show on Friday and there was someone from Hawaii and I was like okay am I telling the truth about these pineapples um, but the other thing is if you can easily pull um, the leaves from the middle um, of the crown there then it's it's gonna be ready ready to cut now here's another little tip is I love to turn it upside down um, for at least a couple hours before I cut it and it helps redistribute um, those juices that were you know because it's been sitting in the grocery store like this since they they put it on the shelf um, so I love to do that so great question Lisa All right who else 
Tell me about the mini whipper. The mini whipper, okay. So that is a classic that has come back. So let's take a peek. Great, such a simple little tool, um, but just, just as great. So perfect for um, whisking some eggs. You can do like your, um, like a little protein drink. You can also do um, things like um, chocolate milk, um, soups, or even like a little cocktail. Um, so, so it was out of the catalog for a couple, a year or so, and folks did not like it. So it's back, Pamper Chef listens to us. So, there's Mr. Pamper Chef. <laughs> Hey, Jamie, yeah. I see the simple slicer in front of you. Can you walk us through how to use that, especially with the guard? Yep, absolutely. So that's a great question. Then we'll come back to you, Angie. So, all right. So the simple slicer is just that. We've had a couple of other um, slicers over um, the years that I've been with Pepper Chef, and, and I really I love this because it, it does exactly what people um, people need. It just simply slices. We, we, it doesn't have all kinds of bells and whistles. So um, it's one of the ones on the market that um there you know there's there's others on the market that um you have like a food holder and you just slice here whereas, whereas you might run into danger what i think is great about ours is um when it's um, engaged properly um it's it's on like a rail um so you don't you know you're gonna gonna do just fine um slicing it also has like little feet here so if i had a, a batter bowl or um some type of bowl i could slice right into it so Let's just say that I was going to do a potato um, or whatever. I would slide this on, um, put the potato in there, and then this is a little food holder. So I would hold this and then um, push it down and then pierce it. So when I pull this out, the potato should be on it. Actually, we'll grab this, um, this cucumber. So what I would do is place it here and then stick it down in there and if it's like that you know it's ready to go. Um, there is a locking um, mechanism so you can lock it for storage then there's a number one a number two and a number three so depending on what you know what you're slicing um, you can you can do the different sizes so we'll come back to that and, um, and slice it. All right Angie did you have a question? Oh, I was just going to see if you would speak a little bit to on the quick cooker. Um, so I made, I think it was a white chicken chili and it was so good. It, I was just hope, wishing that it made like twice or triple what it made. Right. So I was asking someone, do I need to like, how do I adjust the timing or the, and it, I think you, somebody had mentioned maybe you don't really have to adjust the yep yep so i um, as a matter of fact um when i did the last time i did sausage and peppers i doubled it and i still just did it for 15 minutes so um so it, what's going to take a little bit longer is that the more food you have in there the more time it will typically take to come up to pressure but the cooking time is going to be the same so it, it adjusts that um, and another little tip, if you're, um, if you feel like sometimes it takes a little bit of time to come up to pressure, hit sear, um, like, so it will start heating up, like as you're prepping things to, to put in it and that will, um, decrease uh, just by a couple of minutes on your come to pressure time. So yeah, yeah. I, you just don't have to adjust, um, the, the time on that. So good question. Thank you. You got it. Who else? Jamie, another quick question. Uh, do you have to thaw your meat out to cook it? No, so yeah, that's that's a great point. So in the quick cooker, you don't. So you could go straight from the freezer if you have ground beef or if you had um, chicken, pork chops, anything like that. You can just throw the frozen meat right in there. Now, um, the, in the quick cooker little um, cookbook, it will tell you, um, you know, if you're cooking ch bone in chicken thighs or you know boneless chicken thighs fresh or frozen. So it gives you the, the time. Um, you know, so it's just usually a couple of minutes um, difference in that. Same thing for the rock crock. So that black Dutch oven that I showed you guys earlier, if you're using it in the microwave. So you can put your frozen meats in there, but microwave only. You wouldn't want to put it in the oven um, because you, that you get into the, the you know, temperature um, you know, times and issues. A good question. Who else? Anybody else? There was one other quick thing, Jamie. Oh. I saw on the um, chat for, I think it was on the virtual Pampered Chef group or something maybe, um, they were talking about like foil with the air fryer is a big no-no. Is that correct? When I read my manual, I don't remember that popping out to me, but. 
I haven't seen that, but I also haven't used foil um, okay. in there. No, I did find some really cool um, like parchment paper. It's like the, the perfect size parchment paper that goes in there. So if I'm doing um, something that's really, really messy and I, but I'm getting, I'm going to do multiple batches. I'll put the parchment paper in there and it, it makes clean up a little bit um, easier. Okay. Or silicone mat. So yeah, good, 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 good. All right. Any other questions? All right, so let me um, flip over real quick and I'll show you a couple of things. So um, July is actually a fantastic month to host a party if you are, um, if you've got a big old wish list full of things that um, you would love to have. Once your party hits $650, you're going to get an additional $100 in free product. You guys, that's like several, several items totally free um, just by having um, your party in July, you know, and hitting the $650 level. Um, any party that's qualifying, which is $200 or more, you can get any item uh, with, with one caveat, um, any item in the catalog at 60% off. So Angie, tell me what the blender um, would be at 60% off. Um, the blender was, is normally $349, but it, at 60% off, it would be $139.60. Guys, <laughs> that's incredible. Like, that is fantastic. Um, what about the quick cooker? What's the quick cooker the price? Quick cooker, it's normally $249, and it would be $99.60. $99, you guys. Like, such a, good, such a good time to do that. Now, the one exception is once the party hits $650, that's when the air fryer becomes a possibility. So you can get that at 60% off, and I know that's $111 because I sold those all month long this month. So my hosts were loving it. They all had to have it. So um, definitely, definitely a good month. And it wouldn't have to be a huge power tool. So if you wanted like a smaller item, so if you're like, hey, I've got a bunch of stuff. I just want to get some some smaller items. You can get the quick slice. You can get the manual food processor. You can, and, you know, we've got knives. I, I brought out cookware and yeah, I've got all sorts of things over there that I could have shown you. But um, just a, a super, super month to, um, to get in um, on hosting a party. Um, the other thing that I'm going to encourage you guys to take a closer look at is business is wonderful and we are always looking um, for some amazing people to add to our team. We've got, we've got a, just a, a super, super team. So um, we do have three um, fantastic kit options that, um, that we can offer to new consultants at any time. So um, our um, starter kit's $99, but over $400 worth of products and all the paperwork and supplies that you would need. Um, the deluxe kit is over $700 worth of products um, that um, consultants can get for $159. And then my favorite is the ultimate kit. It's over $1,100 worth of products um, for $259, um, which is incredible. So the quick cooker and the rock crock come in that kit. So you do the math. The, um, the quick cooker, I think, is what two two forty nine, or you know, is, is that what that is? So basically, buy the the um, the quick cooker and get uh, like a some amazing amazing amount of things um, um, to go along with it. And um, we, you know, we, we really just encourage you to to try it. just try the business, see if it's something that you um, you know want to do. Um, we're having a great time. We've got great support, and we would love 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 to share um, to share more about um, how the Stanford Chef business works. So. All right, so here's what's going to happen. Um, for those of you that are guests in the party, um, what I want you to do is really quickly, I've got my phone number up there, and I want you, well, actually, consultants too. We're, gonna, we're just going to want you to, to see what I do. Um, so um, what I want you to do is send me a text um, right now with your name and who invited you to the party. Hey, Bernie Jean, I see you in your puffy. <laughs> so, um, so send me a quick text, everybody, um, consultants too, send me a quick text with um, your name and who invited you to the party. Everybody's going to go into a drawing. Now, consultants will be in a separate drawing, um, but I'll do a drawing really quick. For those of you that are guests and you book a party with your consultant, um, your consultant's going to let me know by um, Wednesday at lunchtime, and then I'm going to do another drawing. Um, for, for any future bookings. And that could be from the replay. So folks that watch the recording after tonight um, will be eligible for that up until Wednesday at noon. Okay. So, um, so if you're already like, oh my gosh, I'm totally having a party with, you know, with Mindy or, or whoever, um, but um, yeah, let me know and we'll put you in on that drawing. All righty. Any other questions? I hope you guys enjoyed tonight and learned some new things. We'll do it again. Um, but, um, but yeah, just let me know if you have questions. And I can't wait to see those texts start to roll in.
So, but thank you guys for um, spending a little bit of time with me this evening and just let me know if, if I can help you and I'll, I'll get you, get you the, the resources you need with your consultant. Okay. All right. So thank we'll you. see you there. You're welcome. All right. Good. Good to see you too, Kelly, even though you didn't let me see you. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great night. Good night.